so um, it really should be your choice to um, either uh, add all of the classes in the system right away or maybe just you know create a couple of them the most essential classes the most uh, uh, you know important classes right now would be perhaps having a flight and having a uh, 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 flight schedule so this is what I did so far I added an array list of flights and then in my constructor I created this array list as an object as you know uh, by the way let's just do this uh, uh, fix import business so that we have an array list so um, in in main uh, what we do we create the flight schedule object uh, because we definitely need to have one uh, then uh, once it gets constructed it creates an array list of flights the array list of flights of course is an object of its own but this will be a smart object generic collection which will, which which can be populated by individual flights, right? But as an object, it has to be created by us. We have to create it. I prefer to create. Uh, so if, again, you you know my preferences. I like to say data attributes. Uh, this is not a requirement, but. Uh, it just simply makes uh, code li a little bit more readable so these will be my constructors because I could have multiple constructors here I always say constructors and eventually I will have some operations right some methods that I will be adding to to give my class some some functionality so again, it's it kind of helps when you look at all of this, especially we have when you have nested classes or private classes in in, in your in your code. Uh, I prefer to mark the endings of my classes with the uh, with the comment. All right. So anyway, so far we have a constructor and uh, we have a flight, which really is an empty class. Uh, by the way, it's okay to have an empty class. It doesn't really do much but uh, it can be constructed so uh, anyway uh, we have this uh, minimum arrangement that we can now create a flight schedule which will have a collection of flights we never mentioned an airline just yet well perhaps let's focus on our main method first because since we s spend some some time talking about the structure and talk about talking about the business rules and and what I commonly referred to as business classes or business objects and their interaction now let's let's get back to the front end of our ap application user interface what I would like to do is this perhaps uh, have something like user menu uh, for the lack of a better uh, you know description of our interface there needs to be at least uh, you know somewhat manageable user menu right so user menu that's fine user menu uh, uh, I'll call it menu equals new user menu okay um, and um, in the user menu uh, there would be desirable to say menu dot um, maybe set header something like that and this should be uh, you know our welcome message uh, by all means this is not a complete uh, application uh, you know you will be uh, doing your own work with with all of the uh, 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 with all of the text that you would like to print with all particular variable names class names it's it's completely your choice I'm just doing something to to demonstrate a little bit of my my plan on uh, organizing this application you don't have to do it this way you you can do it entirely differently all right so user menu will be another class which I should be able to say let's set a header then I can say menu uh, dot add um, and, and, and adding those choices would be, um, um, I don't know, uh, set clock, right? 
um, I'm sorry, uh, add uh, menu item, add menu item, something like this, uh, uh, set clock, right? So this will be choice number one, I assume. Then, uh, then uh, the second choice will be add uh, airline, right? And another choice will be add flight and things like that. Okay, so this will be choice number three. So I would like to actually configure my menu to make it somewhat configurable and then eventually I would like to go into an endless loop which may look like this this is an endless loop right? so it's like um, continuously just say uh, lo uh, loop continuously until exit and somewhere of course there needs to be an exit here All right we need to be able to exit out whatever that uh, menu is so uh, but the user will be typing these numbers so this perhaps number four if, if we just follow that logic right so uh, at some point uh, I would like to say uh, menu uh, get user choice right just have them enter something get user choice and uh, that's it and that should return perhaps an integer 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 choice right equals get user choice so they will be uh, prompted for for the for the menu and enter your choice they type one two three four right uh, the method returns the number I get an integer number uh, by the way of course what they're typing is some sort of a character but in all programming when dealing with user interface as soon as possible you want to convert something as uh, entered as text into an integer into a boolean or character or string or something that is internal internal data type of course all user interface uh, except mouse clicks of course uh, but uh, all the keyboard input will be in form of some text but that's not exactly what you need right you need to be able to convert it as soon as possible to something of an internal type of data and then of course I will just say switch right switch and my switch will be switch on this choice right and then I need to say case, uh, case one, uh, right? Case uh, one, two, th oh. uh, case uh, one, two, three, four, case one, two, three, four, and maybe even default, right? Default uh, case uh, where I could say, um, system dot out dot print uh, print line uh, uh, unexpected unexpected choice I can actually uh, system dot exit kind of strange thing but um, I will tell you why this is such an such as su such an unexpected choice for me because I would like to have my menu uh, do do its own validation on the range of numbers through from one to four and if somehow I, it managed to give me something out, out of this range one two three four right I would like to uh, basically stop right right there and investigate what what's what's wrong it's my own problem 
So anyway, I'm going to uh, do, uh, do it this way. Uh, in every other case, I will basically say this is a set clock, right? This is something that's a set clock. Uh, and then um, I can say continue. Actually, let's, let me do a break. Uh, let me do a break after each. Uh, I don't know if that's, that's the right way, but uh, I'll, uh, let me try to organize it this way. It's a good uh, example where, uh, so this will be set clock, this will be add airline, right? And uh, this will be uh, add flight, add flight, and finally exit, exit. Uh, over here, I will do the same thing. System exit is this. Now just just say return. System by okay, so pretty much the same the same idea for both exit and unexpected code, uh, unexpected menu menu code. So set clock uh, at airline at flight are some of the examples that uh, I would like to to be able to manage. So let's um, uh, try to work with with this menu thing, because th th you know if I can just uh, continue looping here and keep uh, uh, populating those cases, it's essentially I'm implementing what I need to do. Now you could almost easily create another object which will be uh, doing this work, but. At this point, I'll think I, I keep this in my main method, right? So this in my so once again, in my ma main method, I will create the schedule, at least the schedule. I need the schedule to be able to do anything. Uh, then I will create a menu. I will populate the menu, right? So say create schedule business object, right? then create menu right create and populate because the menu uh, is created empty create and populate menu uh, then uh, basically loop continuously until exit something like that okay Th that's that those are the three major things so far I'm planning for my main so and then of course uh, we have those individual cases so let's make let, let's make sure that we we deal with the with the menu uh, first so something I want to call user menu all right so my package is here new class uh, user menu and here we'll say I don't know it's obvious what this should do. I'll say to do, right? Just filling, uh, filling the uh, description of the class. Well, I'll show you some Java doc tags later on, but but not today. So again, uh, user menu. It needs a constructor, right? Public uh, user menu. Constructor. What I do here with the constructor, it could have taken welcome as a header, but uh, but I'll I'll keep it as a separate method. Uh, so constructor is the default constructor, and to be able to uh, retain all these choices, by the way, uh, let's let's show it side by side. Right. So we create new user menu. Then we say set header, set menu item. How about we 
just say, well, we can have an array list of strings uh, to uh, keep track of, uh, of menu items. So this will be a menu list, perhaps. And of course, again, in my constructor, I will create it as new list, which will be empty. So menu list equals new this equals new array list of strings. That's the syntax. I will quickly say fix my imports Java util array list. So that's that's I mean again would be same thing data uh, constructors. And finally, operations. And my operations uh, will be um, public void uh, this guy right here, set header, set header, and the header will be um, um, a method that takes a string as a parameter header menu header okay this is fine now I am thinking that I could um, you know I could use my main uh, could 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 um, set my uh, menu header inside the uh, uh, my array list or or as a separate string it's really I don't know it's it's really a uh, uh, something we can uh, we can work with uh, you know one one possibility would be here here uh, header we'll say menu header menu header could be a uh, uh, just a string right so over here we can just say a menu header equals this header that was specified over here. Um, by the way, to, to make it uh, possible to go without the header, maybe I can do this, right? Maybe I can do in my in my constructor, I can say menu header equals empty string. How about that, right? So that it's it's okay to 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 have user menu to be usable without the header but it's possible to add it okay one possibility another uh, would be add menu item right public void add menu item string item so what to, mm. Oh, you know what? I w was I really kind of didn't watch my timing here. I think we're going to lose this recording. Um, I wasn't really watching it. <laughs>